The critically acclaimed off-Broadway sleeper Small Mouth Sounds is making its way right here to Las Vegas. A public theater is producing the Las Vegas premiere of the Best Wool play and it opens this Friday. Attention theater lovers. Here with a preview is the director Anne-Marie Parath along with actor Marcus Weiss. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Good morning. How are you? Really good, thank good, you. Good. Thanks for having us. Yes. I am so passionate about <laughs> live theater, and this is so exciting yeah. uh, that the production is opening. Uh, how are things going? Are you in dress rehearsals right now? Actually, we just had our tech rehearsal uh, yesterday for ah. 10 hours. I was gonna say, how many <laughs> hours was it? Yes, we were yeah. 10 hours in the dark, and it was really successful. We were really fine-tuning all of those technical moments uh, and matching them up with what we've been doing in rehearsal for the last six weeks. Great. How, how did tech go for oh, you? Oh, great. I was just sharing with Anne-Marie, you know, during tech, which is a, a 10 out of 11 hour day, yeah. um, uh, actors get to chill out for a second. But the director is constantly, right. constantly, yeah, thinking, I'm constantly, constantly doing stuff. So it went great. Yeah. Yeah, right. it was beautiful. It was wonderful. It's going to be a great piece. Yes, as actors have a way of uh, having a good time when they're uh, left to their own devices, don't they? <laughs> oh, oh, sure. Yes. Either <laughs> on or off stage. Good time on stage yes. and, and good time off stage. Sure. Man, I haven't done a play in a while, but that, that's the mm. thing I, I truly miss is that camaraderie that you have within a cast. How many cast members do you have in the uh, show? Actually, we have seven cast members. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, six silent retreaters and one um, actor who plays a teacher. And actually, he's not on stage. He spends most of the time in a in a sound Soundproof uh, room on a microphone. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. interesting. So yes, you only hear the voice, his voice, in in the play. Okay, and yeah. let's talk a little bit more about this play in the script. Of course, it uh -huh. all it all starts with the script. You know, in the very uh -huh. first rehearsal and the auditions, you you folks sat down and you said, "Here, here it is. Here's our text." And uh -huh. um, the creator of the show, Be Be Bess Wool, uh -huh. is actually someone you met. Yeah, actually my best friend who I grew up with, who's also in the theater, mm -hmm. uh, they went to grad school, they went to Yale School of Drama. Oh, and, wow. Um, and it wasn't. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, oh. I'm, I'm among yeah. theater people when you hear that. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, <laughs> and she was an actress in the program, and then she yeah. got into to writing the play. So about two years ago, I decided to go out uh, to New York to actually see my friend in this production because I wanted to see if it was replicable. Okay. Because he talked a lot about um, a lot of the play being in silence, mm -hmm. and I was like, is this an inside joke amongst this particular cast, or is this a play that can be taken to other cities? And very interesting. Marcus, let me get this straight. Yes. Do you have no lines in this show? Well, I personally, <laughs> I'm going to give away a little secret. I okay. actually have a three-page monologue. <laughs> Okay. Because in the middle right. of this, in the middle of this piece, you know, one of the characters sort of breaks out and just has to uh, 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 speak to what you know his issues are and that kind of a thing, which I think also mirrors sort of in general what everybody is coming into the, the play with and perhaps yeah. what the audience can identify with, and then I go silent again. And some people also, you know, some of the characters break the rules of the silence, which speaks to what the silence is about, as well. Um, but it's about seventy-five percent silent, mm -hmm. unspoken, unspoken. Hey, a lot can be communicated without words. My co-host oh, doesn't know that, but <laughs> no, it, it, it is true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so listen, some of the themes of the show, uh -huh. yeah. what are some of the themes? Uh, well, like I was saying uh, earlier to Marcus, there's a lot of noise in Las Vegas, you know, yeah. with the strip and all of the technology and we work really hard. And I think hmm. uh, silence is, is a commodity that we all crave oh. for. So like when we go hiking and, and we really look at nature, that's something that really benefits us. And that's one of the things mm. is the be benefit of, of silence coming together as a community in the theater or in nature and um, communing in that particular way. Oh, well, fascinating. Think, yeah, yeah, and I think too, you know, that, that there's something about silence that makes us listen. So if we're, if we're listening to each other or, or listening to nature or listening to ourselves. And I yes. think that in this play, you know, all the characters come in with a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. It's very, very funny in, 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 in uh, just as much as it is, as it is unfunny. Um, <laughs> but we have, uh, but we, we just uh, connect with what's deepest within us. It's fantastic. I'm so sorry, guys. We've run out of time. But no let's, wow. let's go yeah. out with just a moment of silence. The highly acclaimed Small Mouth Sounds premieres at the Public Fit Theater Company this Friday. It runs through March 10th. Tickets start at just $25. They perform at the usual place on South Maryland Parkway. To learn more, visit publicfit.org or call the number listed.